But you know, oh. with the comments that I've just made, we all just made about how we feel about the NFL or recently there were some pictures released about the different companies that have supported certain bunker bitches out there and whatever have you. Um, it's really hard out here to be a, a fan yeah, or a man. blurred, so to speak. It's really hard out here to be a part of something that is a part of something that's hurting your people. So we wanted to go over a couple of things that actually touch bases on that, for lack of a better word. It's so hard out here to be a blur. Like we, uh, we can't name ahead. all the company. They can't name all the companies. But right now, if you look on your screen, there's a little. There's some pictures scrolling of companies who have contributed to this orange flavored fat. Mm. Let, let, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> commander and queen. Yeah. Like, hashtag yeah. commander and queen. Let, 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 let it go, man. At let me. I don't care. At me. And if you if you look I under entertain, if you look under inter, if you look under entertainment, the first name that scrolls out at you, and this hurt me deep to my soul, but I had to look into it a little bit. It says Marvel Entertainment, but it says Marvel Entertainment CEO is the one that's contributed, right? So now here we go. I'm caught in this massive conundrum because if you know me, if you've had a conversation with me about any comic book movie, you know that Marvel has a place in my heart. When Stan Lee died, I cried. You know what oh, I mean? I, Jack, Jack, Jack Kirby is represented as my Lord and Savior because Jack Kirby, if you don't know, Jack Kirby is the one that helped Stan Lee create everything. He was the one that did most of the leg work, right? Yeah, hold on, I'm going to do, do a drink to him now. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Jack like, Kirby. If you don't know Jack who Jack Kirby, Kirby is, if you don't know who Jack Ooh. Kirby is, you can't call yourself a blurred or a nerd. But here we go. You see that up there, and it's just like, damn. I've, I've, I have all of this Marvel stuff around me. I have a bunch of Marvel stuff around me, but I see that the CEO is contributing to that. That puts you in the most difficult place of places. How do I deal with myself? How do I go out and watch a Deadpool movie, a Wolverine movie? How do I say that I love Captain America the way that I do when the CEO is giving a bunch of money to, let's just call it what it is. The 45th president of the United States is a racist. Yeah. He is a bigot. He is a monster, and people are supporting him. How do I continue to live and do this when I got these people supporting this monster? It puts you in a terrible situation. Yeah. So as get out there. Well, 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 hold up. Hold up. Oh, wait, Rita's got something to say. What's say, Rita? It's a, it's a hypocritical situation when you think about the CEO contributing to, you know, forty-five in that way because. Like you said, Marvel is based off of, you know, you have this Professor Xavier who's based off of Michael Black. And I'm sorry, so, Martin Luther King and, and so on and so forth. So it, it makes it hard for you to figure out, well, does the CEO even understand what he's working for? If I, you uh, are turning around and contributing to 45. So I have an easy solution. It's a very, 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 very easy solution. The CEO of marvel comics is a trump supporter that doesn't he doesn't represent the entire entirety of marvel and also right. also kevin feige is not a trump supporter and kevin feige yeah. is in charge of marvel entertainment which mm -hmm. is the movies which is gaining the most popularity so when you go mm -hmm. see the phase four or phase four or five we're, 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 we're heading for four. We're heading for so, we're heading four. so if you go enjoy <clears throat> phase four, guess what? You're still not supporting Trump. You're, you're supporting Kevin Feige. Because Marvel mm -hmm. Entertainment is separate from Marvel Comics. Mm -hmm. Boom. It I, is. Stopped, I stopped buying the comics a long time ago, so we good. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it running. Hey, but let's go but, on to the but next But ultimately, topic. you find yourself in a situation where you're, you're either... It's kind of like... Okay, I take. It's kind of like the R. Kelly argument. You can so you can hate the artist, but you support the product. Like I, I'm 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 a diehard comics fan. I love reading comics. Oh, okay, I, so like, I thought you were a diehard R. Kelly fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, never that. Hey, I love hey, reading comics. Hey, I love what? reading comics. 
What album was Lil Trey conceived to? Anyway, anyway, the I am a fan of the time. I can out talk all you guys. That's what you're saying. He never we had. He said it never had happened. Six minutes to be got left in the show. Oh, he said that's never happened. So let's anyway. play a game. Never have I. Before we go there, let me finish my thought. Because twelve plays <laughs> with a wall. You can enjoy the entertainment aspects of something without supporting it. We've already made our purchases. We've already had the memories stored, or we already have them in our home. Doesn't mean everybody needs to know what's going on. I already have the comics that I've purchased. I don't have to buy any more. I could honestly just go on Google and find a way to read them online. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna boycott Marvel because it's not all Marvel, like we said. So it's definitely freaking bonus that. Oh, um, oh, um, oh. But yeah, so <laughs> never have I ever. Oh, so, so. I can't, like, I'm never talking to y'all again. So, we wanted to introduce. So, we're, we're, coming, to the on your we're coming to the end of the show today. And we wanted to have an interactive situation with all our viewers out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. We wanted to play a game called Never Have I Ever. Now, each one of the guys here and the lady here have contributed by offering up a different question that they would have asked the group and also ask those out there. And also, we told you guys what we're drinking this week. So if you are drinking with us right now, you can play along. Yes, so you can take a shot with us. I'm not going to do shots, but I'm going to still drink my drink. I'm still at your hair. Hey, Trey. We can agree on shots, Trey. Trey. We agree. Hey Trey, Trey. It's okay. Booga wooga wooga wooga. <laughs> <laughs> It'll trap the comics. <laughs>